Let's take a look at the artifacts we have in this cabinet. Uh, these things are some of the uh, most interesting artifacts I've seen in a long time. Well, this particular artifact is a uh, Kirk Stammond point. Any point you find in Virginia that's not a triangular point was most likely a spear point. So this is a spear point. Uh, it's of interest in that uh, when you haft it onto the shaft or the spear, that's what stuck out. So this is one that was probably near its uh, end of its lifespan, uh, approaching exhaustion, and they probably threw it away. Uh, here's another one that's a little later in time. Uh, again, hard to believe, but this is a spear point, uh, probably used with an atlatl. We'll talk about atlatls in a little while. But you can see when you haft this point, that's what would stick out. So you can see that would be very ineffective. Originally, the point was probably this long, but through exhaustion and reef, reef uh, sharpening through time, this is what you have left. So ineffective, get rid of it. Uh, these are sort of middle woodland points, uh, you know, in the 6,000 to 4,000 year uh, BC range. And by the time you get to the Wyan Oak Village time period, you're dealing with points that look like this, triangular points. These are arrow points. The bow and arrow was probably invented somewhere around maybe 1000 BC, but as time went on, they started using these smaller and smaller and smaller triangular points. And that's what we see here. Uh, this is one of the native quartz, probably typical of that area. Yeah. This is one example that I was looking for. This is again one of those large broad spears during uh, the late archaic time period. This is about 2500 to 1000 BC. But you can see the difference in the edges here. This edge is fairly straight, where this one is curved. This one is curved from use and resharpening. And in fact, this was hafted and used as a cutting tool as a knife. And you can see the wear along this edge. And that's typical of these types of points. Perhaps they were used as spear points, but in essence, a lot of those you can see the wear pattern where they were converted into knives.